Hello beautiful Geminis, how are you today? Welcome to the channel. Let's take a look and see what's happening in love for you at this time. What is a Gemini feeling about their love interest? Let's see what we have. Okay, what is Gemini feeling about their love interest? You want a new beginning? Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this deck. Okay, Gemini, what is the story that you're feeling? You are very much in love. You're really feeling connected to somebody who's probably a fire sign, Leo, Sag, um, Aries, but mostly a Leo. You are feeling as though you have come out of a period of time with this person in which you were healing. You know, there's something that definitely went wrong. Your person, you know, you really feel like your person is your soulmate. You feel very happy. You want to give this person everything. But what I'm getting here is this energy that says that they're not really, really pursuing you. I get that your person, for some of you, may be married. I also get that you want a victory. And you want somebody who's going to give equal give and take. And right now, Gemini, Gemini, I'm not seeing you feeling as though you are optimistic. I get you releasing this person, even though you think that they're a soulmate. When things are good between the two of you, they're really great. But, you know, you want a victory here. But I don't see you taking action to have a victory. Uh, I feel as though you're taking a wait-and-see attitude because you don't want your person to really, you don't, you're not going to chase them down. But look at this energy. You feel like this person is the one for you. It is very powerful energy. I mean, this to you is the best person that you've ever been with in terms of how you feel, how you love. You know, that's a powerhouse of cards. Just a powerhouse. Two of Cups, Hierophant, Four of Wands. We have the Lover's card and the Six of Wands, which is victory. But in the meantime, you're over here, Wounded Warrior, certainly trying to come back from battle. And you want to let this person go because there's just not any equal give and take. I just see you not giving up on this person. And yet, it's almost like you're in this energy of can't live with them, can't live without them. But all those marriage cards indicates that you would like to marry them. But on a sort of a darker note, your person could be married to someone else. And you could be very aware of it. So it's take it as it resonates, whatever it is for you. Let's look and see what energy Gemini is projecting towards her person this week. What is the, um, the energy that Gemini is projecting towards her person? Well, there you go. Very feisty. Very much empowered. Knight of Wands energy. Really feeling good about yourself. You feel good about life. So you're in a really good spot. You know, you're feeling like you have a lot of fire in your belly. You don't really know what you're going to do with this person. The energy that you have is maybe remorse and regret, you know, really, really up in your head about what to do or what not to do because you really don't want to do anything. You really feel very strongly your viewpoint that you hold of the situation is that if somebody loves you, they're going to come towards you. And if they don't love you, they won't. And right now you're like in no man's land because you don't really feel you have an answer. It does show that intuitively you have a, a deep understanding of this person, this person that you really clearly love. The Ten of Cups says that, you know, you the two of you love each other. There is no doubt about that. There is no lack of love here in your relationship. Intuitively, you know that your person loves you. You know that they care deeply about you. They've been around to help you. Honey, I'm home. You know, we get the energy that your person, you are projecting desire onto your person. You are transmitting it even telepathically. It does look like your person comes through this week. They might make some sort of excuse to see you. Just sort of so they don't have to admit that you are their rock star. So the energy right now that you're projecting out is very, very sweet. It's very kind. It's very loving. It shows that you're holding back. You don't want your person to see that you're really worried at this time. You don't want them to see that you feel you're being juggled. So let's see what we have for what your person is uh, thinking about you. What does this person think about Gemini? What does this person think about Gemini? What is Gemini's love interest? Thinking about them. What are the circumstances right now 
of their communications with Gemini. Okay, we have Six of Swords. Your person is trying to improve things. We definitely see trying to move out of troubled waters. They find you very sexy. They think you're very sexy or very powerful. You're a good business person. They are coming towards you slowly. Could be a Virgo. The hanged man, though, says that they are really withholding. They're trying to look at things from a different perspective about the situation. I mean, in their heart space, they definitely feel some love here, but they feel like they're underwater. There's something about the connection or the communication that really just says that your person is feeling very fearful that, you know, at the end of the day, that, you know, you're going to walk away from them. You know, spirit is saying, give it another chance. But, you know, the energy is, is that your person right now, as the week winds up, it shows that the two of you spend time together. <clears throat> the stability in your relationship grows. So I'm going to leave it there. Gemini, it looks as though you're in sort of a period of limbo in the relationship. But it does look like at the end of the week, both of you with the 1111, the twin flame energy. But it does show that there is stability is restored to the relationship and things will move forward. So I'm going to take this to the extent and dive into how your person, their thoughts or feelings, intentions or actions with you you know, really dig into that energy. If you'd like to join me there, thanks so much. The, the link is in the description box below, my friends. Thank you.